In this video, we're going to be talking about a feature that is kind of a hidden gem of Easy Stone. When I finish a design, um, it's time to put it through a couple of filters to make sure everything's on the up and up. And uh, the feature I'm talking about is our check spacing feature. Now, we all know if we make a selection here of our B and come down here and click on check spacing, it will tell us whether or not we have any overlapping stones and really what this overlap means is direct overlaps um, so in this case it did not find any direct overlaps however there may or may not be issues with stones that are too close together and at first glance we may not see those but wouldn't it be nice to get a clear indication from the program is everything going to cut out nice and smoothly. Now for those of you using WinPC 2014 you might be familiar with the stone touch feature where it'll actually go through the design and look to see if any adjacent stones are too close together. Well we actually have a similar feature here in Easy Stone and have had uh, this feature since the very first version of Easy Stone came about. And what that feature is is over here on the miscellaneous tab you can see we have the check space function and if we just make a selection and click on check spacing it works exactly the same way as the check spacing function does down here on the quick select tools but we do have a text field next to this where we can specify what the software should look for and so what we're going to ask the software to look for is, is we're going to ask the software to look for any adjacent stones that are within a half a millimeter so then we'll go ahead and make a selection and we'll click on check spacing and what the software will do is it says it found three objects that were within that tolerance now we can fill them with red or we could just go ahead and dispose of them so typically we'll fill with red so we'll hit yes and that shows us where our problems are so you can see this was a problem so we can go ahead and address it and you can see this is a problem right here these, these two stones are too close together so we can address it and then obviously right here these two stones were too close together as well alright so now that we've addressed those issues we can go ahead and select all of our design again and then this button right here will kind of be like a reset button. So it's going to take those red stones and it's going to put them back to the color they were, which in this case, they were hot pink. But if they, even if we had hot pinks and blues and, and greens in our design, it'll reset all the stone colors back to their default uh, color. So now if we go ahead and select the design again, and again, we'll choose a half a millimeter tolerance and we hit check spacing, Ta-da! There are no uh, pending issues uh, with the design as far as the stone, the adjacent stone uh, placement. So we know this should cut quite nicely. Now, if we want to just do a quick sweep here, let's just try 0.7 millimeters and we hit check spacing. Well, now you can see we found many stones that were uh, within that tolerance, okay? Uh, but of course, because we know none of those are within a half a millimeter distance, we're good to go. So we don't have to concern ourselves. But I just wanted to show you how that function works. We go ahead and hit the reset button to reset all those stones back. So that check spacing function is really, really nice to have um, because it can check and make sure that there are no adjacent stones within a half a millimeter or, you know, whatever distance you want. And the more you get to work uh, in your rhinestone designs, the easier it's going to be be able to see visually um, whether or not a stone is too close together or not. But if you want the software to go ahead and ch figure it out for you, that's how you use the check spacing feature. Quite a powerful feature that you don't find in all the uh, different rhinestone macros out there. So that is how you can double check your designs to make sure you don't have issues when you go to cut your template. Thanks for watching.